Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to present two cases of port wine stain. Here you can see this 40 years old male having this port wine stain above the left eye on the scalp. His vision was 66. He just came <coughs> for press biopic checkup. And there was no glaucoma and now here is the other patient having port wine stain the port wine stain can most commonly occur on the face but it can also involves arms neck upper trunk and legs like here this patient is having port wine stains on both hands neck scalp both sides of the face so port wine stain is also known as nevus flamus it is a discoloration of the human skin caused by a vascular anomaly color is similar to port wine a fortified red wine from Portugal it is a congenital condition present since birth it persists throughout life and uh, with the aging the affected skin darkens in color and hypertrophic thickened and is present as a cosmetic blemish it can present alone like in our first case or may be associated with sturge weber syndrome or clypal trinani weber syndrome if ocular area is involved always check intraocular pressure to rule out secondary open angle glaucoma due to raised episcleral venous pressure like uh, in our patient, uh, the patient is having bilateral glaucoma for the left uh, eye trabeculectomy has been done as uh, you have seen and uh, uh, intraocular pressure was uh, 19 in the right eye and uh, 14 in the left eye with a cup dix ratio of uh, 0.7 in the right eye and 0.9 in the left eye so the two associated syndromes uh, are the rare one clypal trinani syndrome has three main features a port wine stain venous and lymphatic malformations and soft tissue hypertrophy of the affected limb the Sturge Weber syndrome it is a type of phacomatosis and often associated with port wine stains, glaucoma, seizures, intellectual disability, and cerebral hemangiomas. It has three types. The type 1 has port wine stain, cerebral malformations, glaucoma. Type 2 has port wine stain with glaucoma, but no brain environment like our second patient have us. Type 2 Sturge Weber. Type 3 has leptomeningeal angiomas exclusively with no glaucoma and port wine stain. Diagnosis is on brain MRI. Treatment laser for the port wine stain, anti convulsants for the seizures, anti glaucoma for the IOP control, and special education for the mentally handicapped children. So that was all about the port wine stain thank you